G'day, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to download um, pre-baked animations from Mixamo into 3ds Max and actually add a few together and stitch them together. So first of all you want to find a, an appropriate dance move. Once you've uploaded a character and you just select one of these it will automatically um, it just automatically um, get stitched together. So when you find what you're happy with, you know, click download. And we're just going to leave it at the basic settings, so that's FBX with skin and download. So we see that this goes for 500 frames. Um, I've got a folder which I've already done a little bit with, so I'd encourage you just, you're going to have a few FBXs which you'll need to put together. So once you've downloaded it, I'm just going to drag and put that into my folder. I've got FBX. Um, Okay, I've already done this. No worries, I will replace. So in 3ds Max, I'm just going to press Control N. This will create a new empty 3ds Max scene. And what I'm now going to do is file, import, and import. So I need to find my FBX folders. So that was the the hip hop dance. So I'll click Open, and and OK. Um, now I've got 1200 frames in my scene, so if you don't see that, you can click on time configuration and you can put in what you require. I'll re scale this back to 600. Um, if I press play, just notice that it's all happening, which is good. So it seems a bit counterintuitive, but to add several of these Mixamo files together, what I actually need to do is strip them apart. So to do this, I need to go up the top to animation, and I need to uh, save this animation. I need to save it as a as a file of .xaf. So basically, we're just clicking on that animation, save animation, give it a name so you can refer to it. So this is hip hop, uh, and we don't need to change any settings. So you just save motion. Um, you'll need to do this for any of the FBX video files that you'd like to add together. So now what I'm going to do. Um, so I've got three made. I did two already. If I um, create a new scene, so that's Control N. Let's make a new scene and start this back at frame zero. And what I now need to do is file and import and bring in my character without any dance moves. So I need to find my character, which is this guy. It's a .fbx as well, and he'll just come in as a T-pose. So pretty important that you don't click off off him. Um, all of these things are selected by default and we need that in order to add an animation. So the next step um, is going to be pretty similar to what we've already done is animation, load animation. Um, so I'm going to put in an old man idle, this one I've already got, and this insert frame, this is going to put it at a specific point on the timeline. So first thing first I'm going to put it at frame zero and I'll click load motion and hopefully my character will come in and, and do his thing. Ah, great. So we can see he's an old man, he's just hanging out, no worries. And we can see this animation is going to wrap up about 360 by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Looks like a good spot to break out into a dance. So what I'm now going to do is um, add another one. So it's animation, load animation, and I'm going to break out into hip hop. Uh, so in this case, I need to update this insert at frame to whatever frame sort of makes sense. I might just do it at 355. And this will just write over whatever else was already there. So let's see how that goes. So he was idling. Just press play. And then no worries, he starts doing his little hip hop thing. So again, we're going to run out of time here. Um, I mentioned how to bring it down. So click on time configuration, and I might blow this back out to maybe 1500. Okay, um, so if I press play again, I'll see that he's kind of cruising along to maybe 870 or something like that. Awesome. He even went back to Idle as the old man, which was pretty handy. So 875 is where I might put my next animation in, so load animation. Uh, you don't have to do what I'm doing, but I've essentially got this 
idle is what I'm going to keep coming back to. So 876 and load motion. Uh, that will get filled up and then into hip hop, into idle, and then you might break out into that 1240. I'll add another animation, load animation, and might load into the chicken dance and load motion. Alright, so let's just see how that goes. So idle, and then again he breaks out into dance. Huh. Okay, didn't work very well. Not a worry, I must have added the wrong, I must have saved the thing as the wrong name. So, anywho, that's how we stitch several animations together. Um, so in this case you'd probably then want to build this up around your scene. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks a lot.